Alrighty folks, not sure where we're at today. I know I have a friend of mine coming out. I think we're just gonna have a wire brush party and we're just gonna go through all of the tools and stuff, see what we can salvage here, just to get it done, which would be awesome. So I don't know how much filming I will do today, mostly because it's gonna just be two dudes sitting on a bench grinders and uh, just giving her beans trying to clean stuff. <laughs> From there, I gotta figure stuff out, where I'm gonna be ditching it, where I'm, what tool, where I'm placing stuff, don't know. I imagine Ryder will probably be out, being that it's the weekend. So he'll probably come out and uh, I'll get him to help me organize and do some stuff like that. We've got these two compressors. My dad told me he had one down at the farm, a nice bigger one. I gotta get a pressure switch and some stuff for it. But that one might make its way into the shop. I think we'll stuff it over into this corner here. And then I can move my fridge over there. And then, uh, yeah. I know Ryder's been working on that a little bit. We might throw that outside. I almost feel like this weekend we'll try to, I don't know if we will or not, but because I still want to hit this whole bench, get this thing out of the way. I got to clean up some stuff here. It's just a mess. <laughs> oh man, full-time job here. But I'd like to get the 58 in, get that motor swapped. Like that would be, man, I would love to have that happen. That way that motor's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm waiting for my power pack for my lift. So when that happens, that'll be, uh, well, that'll be the first test. We'll be able to lift that thing up and see how she goes. Anyways, I'm going to start getting some stuff ready here. I might move that clip out. Ryder can play with that later. Or I'll throw it in the back of his truck for now. Yeah. Like to get the ball rolling on his stuff too, maybe. But I need to organize stuff yet. I still need more organization. Anyways, I think that is how we're starting the video. We're going to probably segue over to some wire brushing. I won't do too much. I won't bore you too much. And then uh, we'll figure out where we're going from there. Maybe give a little update midway through here. But yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. Alright, well, a buddy came out, uh, you can see the little bit of time lapse I got, we were like kind of just tag teaming, just wire brushing the snot out of everything, and uh, he got a big chunk of that, I got my vice grips back onto the wall here, uh, yeah, I have a bucket full of tools over here, to which I was going to just abandon it and not deal with it, but whatever he came by so that's pretty much all we did all day Ryder was by a little bit he helped a little started working on the uh, some of my wrench like my uh, clamps and stuff like that going through there and then we got distracted and sidetracked and he started playing with uh, uh, a mini bike that I got so <laughs> that's where we ended up that was where our day ended anyways uh, it's like dark this is about as far as I think I'm getting tonight, so we're uh, we're gonna call her a night. That is uh, that's a wrap. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know. I'm gonna organize some tools. Nah, eh, I don't think I want to show that to you folks, but I do. I don't know if it'll be this weekend yet or not, because we got the swap meet tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna be busy hunting around there, trying to find some stuff. But I think uh, eventually we're gonna drag in the. I just want to get the 58 in, as screwed up as it sounds. I want to get the 58 in. I want to do the motor swap. I want to get this motor into that truck and uh, at least get it in running. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm waiting for some sheet metal for that one. Uh, and then 
I think we're going to let Ryder do his thing while I try to still organize. We might get him to bring his truck in and we'll play with that a little bit. Uh, we have the 50, man, I don't even know the year. It was the tan truck. Had a good running motor, so I think I'm going to take that motor out. and uh, Or I'll get him to pull that motor. And then we can put that one into his truck and just get it to be a good running truck. And then uh, from there we can kind of work some stuff. Work some magic from there. Kind of get him at least driving around in the field and things like that. At least that's my thought. But anyways, it's uh, kind of late and I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm realizing I have a lot of junk <laughs> and I don't really have the room. Some of the stuff I want to fix or build, I can't, um, like I want to rebuild the plasma table, really. I would love to do that, but I don't have the room for it. I thought of getting like a sea can, but I do have this garage I can use in the temporary, and it just gives me an excuse to move all my engines and stuff so I don't clutter up this garage anyways. Uh, I do have a cube van out that way. Well, there's the big trailer too, but I don't have any way to dig motors in and out of it, if that makes sense. Ooh, I actually have more stuff in here than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh man anyways i think my thought is i'm going to try to move all the motors out and this will be like my temporary something else like i have a sand uh the neighbor gave me a sandblasting cabinet and like a parts washing like a solvent tank like is that right yeah i guess a parts washing unit so thinking i want to put some stuff into here from the shop i can plumb over uh like some air, things like that. Just for things I use once or twice every now and then. The concrete is like complete garbage in here, but at least I can prop stuff up and it's out of the weather. That's kind of more beneficial to me anyways. A couple of these motors are probably garbage, so I don't know. You know how it is. I just kind of like to get, I would like to get another tire machine because I'm kind of lost without one. I don't really want to sit with spoons in the middle of the yard. <laughs> I do have like sort of a, a bead breaker there, but if I can get some stuff, get the ball rolling on some equipment, that'd be like really nice. But I just need a place to put stuff. So anyways, long story short, uh, I got a little bit of time ahead of me here. We're going to start moving some of this stuff out and I'm going to figure out to put it into there's a little van or something out there. And I gotta clean that thing out too, so there's like multiple things gotta happen. I won't bore you too much with it, but this is kind of the plan that I have going for today, I think. Try to move stuff. Yeah, man, I'm just making work for myself. Golly. I think that cube trailer's gotta get pulled over a bit. Like it looks like it wants to. It looks like this truck is holding that trailer up. Man, that sucks. See if this works or I'm gonna fall in. <laughs> All right. It's a whole series of cleaning up. Well, there should be more than enough room to put all the motors in here. Might be a little miserable to get them out, but some of this stuff just doesn't need to be in here. All right. Well, I have a game plan. I just don't know how I'm gonna go about doing it. Man, I'm gonna need a bit of help to figure this one out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <clears throat> Didn't have a carry tank. This compressor wasn't working for me, so we converted it. Now I got a compress like a porta tank. <laughs> Need a better hose system on it, but all right. Well, this may not be good. My battery's been hooked up all winter. Oil's good. Brake fluids. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't plan to actually, I just want to move it out to put the uh, motors in here. For now. Let's see what happens. Hey bud, how's it going? Look at that stack of boxes. <laughs> we are just rummaging and rifling through stuff. Uh, we're slowly getting the shop set up. I don't remember where I was last. Um, what I was doing, I think I was talking about the other garage. You've seen a little bit. I kind of changed my plans there. We've uh, ended up dumping everything in the barn because that truck that I have over there that cube truck there's just too much work to get at so we'll kind of save that for later I had to pull this out because our insurance wants to see that the car is burnt but they have to do it at their compound <laughs> so whatever I guess I'm waiting for the tow truck to come and we'll kind of load it up and see how bad they bang it up more yet after the fact but uh so anyways, we got this garage almost all cleaned out. For the most part, it's pretty good. Um, I have a couple, like I'm not much into wood, but I do have like a table saw and a few things there. Um, let's see. We have some power in here, but I don't have the 220 yet. Uh, it actually does have 220. I think it's only like a 40 or a 60 amp service, which honestly is plenty for what I plan to use this for temporarily. So, um, what do we got? Uh, the neighbor gave me, I think I said this before, but he gave us a parts washer and a blast cabinet, which is good. So from the shop, I am just gonna plumb some air hose. We'll just run an air hose over here so we can run these things. I really, I'm trying to piece together parts so I can uh, rebuild my plasma table. I'm kind of going that brown. I know folks, uh, some folks have said to try reaching out to some of the companies, but man, they're like really, really expensive. I think I can rebuild a new 4x4 table for, well, I'm hoping. I have some steel to do the stands and stuff, uh, but I found a site open builds. They have uh, some nice stuff, so I'm going to try to piece something together with that, see what I can do. Um, do, do, do. So I still got to get the motors out. But this one's a six liter. It's kind of junky, but it's still good. Like the block is good. So it's kind of a short block. That's a five, three. It's kind of junk, but I do want to tear it apart. So I might get Ryder to rip that apart for me. And there's another six liter there. That's kind of blown. So most of those parts we can use a bunch into here. Like, I don't know. I feel like I can build a six liter. Anyways, long story short, we're going to temporarily set up over here. I kind of want a couple things here. I saw a few little things. I'd like to get a plasma table in there. And then when it comes down to it, I would like to get, like I want to get another tire machine yet and then set that up uh, here so I can kind of do some tire changing as I need. I've ordered some new used ones for my uh, Napco here. So those ones are getting pretty bunk. So yeah, that's about where we're at. Uh, no time lapse -y anything other than I do this weekend want to get into the shop and actually start working on something. I'm getting tired of all of this stuff, but uh, we do have to address some things here and that thing's tweaked. I got to straighten it, but then I could probably prop it up on a wall into this shop. So 
or this garage. Anyways, that is where we're at right now. Right, Doug? You're gonna hang out for a while? <laughs> gonna follow me around? Well, I can't complain. That's not too bad. All right. Well, that worked out pretty good. So we got the lift works really good sitting there. We still have the safety catch. It's just I don't have the cable to pull it loose right now. So I got to figure out a way for that. Not really doing much on here. I might adjust the brakes and stuff, but I don't plan on using the truck yet this year. Well, so far, I just feel like I'll go through the brakes uh, just quickly adjust them and things. I mostly brought it in because I had that big pile of garbage in the back So we kind of threw that in the back and we can bring it up to our our garbage truck kind of the dealio <laughs> And just see if it works and yeah happy to say We are good to go. Uh, I guess I can check the gear oil. Oh mint Cool Well, that's not too bad. I think this weekend we got one of the grandsons there wants to actually work on his car. So we might drag dad up. I think he's going to play with that a little bit outside. He's going to do a little bit of yard work. But uh, we are slowly getting there. Very close to getting a few things. Again, I think I will drag my, my 59 in. I believe it's a 59. I keep calling it a 58. Jeff gives me crap and says it's actually a 59. So we're going to bring that one in. And then... Uh, uh, get that motor swapped. Should be a pretty straightforward. That'll free up this section of my shop, this this little area. And uh, well, whatever. It is what it is, right? We got. We're making progress. It's getting usable. Let's put it that way. I'm happy about that. We do need to mow some grass and stuff. My Buick is kind of disappearing into that that stuff there. <laughs> oh. Over there, I can't even do anything. It's just so much mud. Golly. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to check brakes quick. Then I'm going to drop this thing down, bring my garbage into the road, and uh, I think I'm going to call her a day. Just kind of enjoy myself for a bit. Cool. So that worked out well. I like it. This hoist is working really, really good. I got to, uh, basically, we pulled the wife's truck out. I don't know if anybody, well, a lot of you folks will remember it. Not everybody, but uh, it's a, what is this thing? 46, I think, Dodge. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, like everything I own, it's pretty much. It's got a 5.3 LS in it. Typical stuff. Uh, we just pulled it out of the shed because, well, we had all the motors in there and uh, I just, man, this camera's going crazy. Anyways, uh, we pulled it out of the shed because we're storing motors in there. My wife wants to drive it till Kyle's finished painting the Buick. Um, doo -doo -doo. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to go, I want to go through the brakes, just check them, stuff like that. This car truck does have a Camaro front clip, but it is um a drum brake set up so we got to go through and do some adjustments underneath there you can see our our stuff yeah yeah it is drum yeah anyways we got to do that and she really wants a cup holder and i just never got around to it so what i'm gonna do is we'll cut a piece of pipe and we'll tack it in onto there onto the glove box that way like my 56 we can boom it's out of the way down we'll have two cup holders just sitting on there kind of old school that way anyways yeah this is a this is the workhorse well her her summer chariot for the most part that and her buick anywho we what do we do well we picked up a vacuum because i know one of the grandkids this weekend wants to work on his car which is that green buick there at a 56 i think i don't know the year for sure but that big boat. So we'll probably clean it out and see what we got to get, order parts or stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going to quickly do, uh, adjust the brakes, give it a, a lube, grease everything up, and then uh, we'll kick it out and hopefully I can start to 58 then. 58, 59, I don't know. I keep calling it wrong. And then we can kind of back it in and kind of get it all processed and, uh, ready to yank the motor out. That would be the plan. I know I'm not fully moved in here, but I just feel like I'm so tired of working on other stuff. I just want to break it up a little bit.
Well now, there we go. We got two super simple cup holders. Look at this. You can fit a large coffee in there. Mint. And we can close the glove box. <laughs> Mint. We didn't burn through the front of it. Awesome. All right. Well, I think she's good to go. We've adjusted the brakes. Oh, right. I got to torque the lug nuts. We'll do that quick. And I had to get one lug nut. Because GM lug nuts always strip. So I'm going to go find one outside. We're going to torque it down. Then we can throw it out. And then I guess we'll bring that 58 in and see, see where we're at there. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm not gonna lie, I have had this started once this year, but... <laughs> oh, you poor guys. I think we're good. Ish. <laughs> All right. Not exactly the height I always want to lift it, but. <laughs> but at least I can sweep under it now. All right, well, we got her in. We have lifted it on the hoist, but we haven't. I got it back down. I think Ryder is gonna come by tonight. So we're gonna play a little bit with this thing. Uh, you can see it smokes excessively bad. I knew the motor ran. I just never ran it very long. And it turns out it's not very good. But I think for tonight's plan, uh, Ryder and I are gonna actually just pull well we'll pull the spark plugs we'll do a compression test just to see maybe the motor's not bad like i don't know maybe we can just run some atf do something try to free them up but i'm pretty sure i drove this thing a bunch and it just is what it is not a big deal this one i did drive and it, it was good as far as i know uh this is the one i think it's from a pontiac it should bolt in i'm imagining i don't know Depends where. Oops. Well, this one's up in the front, so it's got those puck mounts. So yeah, I don't know, I think it should work. It's got the sidles on the front, which I think are the same. No. But I think when we scrape all the gunk off of there, it should be able to mount up the same as this one. Uh, you can't see, but it's got the pads on the cross member. So anyways, yeah. I wanna swap that one in here. I was. I remember driving that one and I thought it was good. I could be kicking myself in the butt, I don't know. But I'd like to keep it kind of stock. We got, on Rolly's car, his wheels are pretty crispy, but uh, I think we'll take those off. And uh, we'll swap them onto here with some new rubber. Uh, like I say, tonight I think all we're gonna do, Ryder will come by, we'll, we'll do a compression test on there. We're gonna pull the wheels, the drums, uh, go through, through the brake system it says I know I have brakes but I don't think I had the rear brakes working I um, I'm guessing because I have a vice grip on there <laughs> that it's not working which is okay we'll get some uh, we'll figure this out I'll uh, but I want to pull it apart so I can do a parts ordering see what I got to get so we can uh, get this thing on the road it would be kind of cool um, these little rust panels, they're gonna be pretty easy. I think I'll just make them. We'll try to color match it the best we can. The biggest one, I know I've ordered from our local feller here who orders in parts, because I don't wanna to try to make it, 
is, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's try the light here. There you go. Can you see that? There's nothing, nothing there. That's the, that's the windshield lip. So inside and out is just a toast. Look at that. That is, that's air over there. <laughs> So we got to do this header and the inner panel. So, and I need a windshield, but I got to get those done before we do the windshield. I just love doing these windshields. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think it'll be fun. Fun for a first little project in the shop. There's going to be tons and tons of things, just uh, different things going on. Let's put it that way. Um, Cause we, I don't have parts for anything. I've kind of lost everything. So uh, going forward, I think the plan is going to be, I'll probably drag in my 54. I'm going to have to bring it in one day. Basically just get it in, lift it, see what I need, order parts. I'll try to, I think my goal is try to build that car this summer for the heck of it. I know a lot of folks love that thing. It's a 54 Chevy. I put a Jaguar front clip in it. So I got to still get that plumbed and the brakes working and stuff like that. I have an LS that I want to turbo and basically just build a fun sleeper. Well, basically I just want a burnout machine, but maybe actually take it to the track, see what it'll do. Um, this one, I want to keep it just more like stalker. I thought of lowering it and things like that. Now I'm like, meh, we'll just keep it looking as what it is. And then we'll, uh, we'll just fix what needs to be fixed on it. Try to get it safety and kind of drive it around. Be kind of cool. I think Esther said she would like to drive it, so hey, why not? There's nothing wrong with having a few stock vehicles. We'll need to do some interior work. I have no idea how good or bad this tank is. I instantly just ran a boat tank when I did this one, but yeah. That's kind of the plan. Kind of see where we get here. Play with it for a little bit, but I can only go so far because we're going to have to order a bunch of parts. And then I'm basically distracting myself from fixing some of my tools. So I do have to get in here, get this thing cleaned up and get some paint on it. And then figure out how to build a pump system and some mechanical way or like whatever, like a hydraulic way to make this sucker work again. <clears throat> this thing was just my powerhouse and I used it for everything, so... I really want to get that thing going again. What other stuff that I care about? I think that was about it right now. Well, my plasma table. I really want my plasma table. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to wait for Ryder to show up and then we'll, uh, we'll quickly poke around on here and get a shopping list started. I don't know if we're going to start pulling the motor or not. I think it'll just be fun to pull the wheels and just see what it needs for brakes and kind of junk like that. I don't want to make it non-mobile just yet because i know austin wants to work on his car this weekend and i think it'd be just cool just to bring it in the shop to clean it out and just kind of figure out what we all want to do and austin's car is that buick over there in front of the dodge so there's my 54 his buick and the dodge so i know the motor and trans don't stay with that car a buddy of mine bought the car for that and then i got the car off of him so which is no big deal we'll probably put a basic small block or something in there and uh, a small one, like just a small little 305, or I'll do something like that. And we'll probably, because it's big bolt, we'll put a truck diff in the back, figure out the suspension. Oh yeah, it's gonna be mint. It's gonna be an awesome first car. All right, so we got all the, well, we got the back drums off. It turns out we need everything. I think even the drums are half buggered. 
So, and then on rider side, one of the studs broke. So I got him drilling it out right now, to which we're gonna pop that stud out and we can get some studs for it. Studs, we'll take these off next. I'll take the bearings, everything out. We're gonna pop the tops off. I'm for sure gonna just order up some, like the hoses. Yeah, the hoses are cracked up and stuff. So we're gonna order new hoses. I know the front brakes work fine. We'll probably give it just a grease job in the front. But uh, yeah, how's that coming? Good there? <laughs> Right. Well, we got everything off. This side was miserable and then the shoe fell off. So we're doing brakes all around. I know these wheel cylinders are good, but we need new lines. New line for the back. We need all the drums are bad. And yeah, it's about it. We're going to try to beat some of the studs out of these if we can, just because we got two that are broken on the truck. So this is just a spare drum. As you can tell, it's missing all its bits. Ryder's just trying to grease, lube up the front end here, grease her down. So he's going through all of that. But I'm pretty much gonna just make a list somewhere. I got a whiteboard there, so I'm gonna make a list that I can rock auto and we can order some stuff up. Uh, we're gonna try the e-brakes after, make sure that those cables, that part of the cable's good. Then that should be mostly the mechanical, the brake side, that I'll be happy that we get. We can order parts for, so then at least it We'll stop proper properly kind of thing. Uh, I guess next we'll drop it down. We'll have a peak C. Let's just do a compression test for the heck of it. But I'm kind of thinking the motor's just kind of junky. So it just is what it is. Anyways, uh, we'll probably assess the rust issues. But most of this truck seems pretty solid. It's just the typical where they rot right here. The cab corners. The floors seem really good in the truck. So the, the worst being that brow, that is the worst part to deal with. But yeah, I think we'll be able to kind of just get a parts list and kick it out the shop for now until I get more stuff here. Anyways, we're kind of doing that. And then Ryder and I are gonna put it back together and maybe take it for a boot. I don't know. <laughs> Depends how well it wants to run. All right, our plan now, we're gonna go steal the battery out of my truck. We're gonna stick it in that truck. I'm gonna see if we get it running. We've had it running, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I just hope there's enough zoop in the battery to do it. All righty, we're stealing the battery out of this truck. Ryder's cleaning the posts. We're basically doing something fun. You seen me pull out the one truck I've talked about that other Dodge, which is the donor motor for Ryder's truck there. So I have other plans for that truck because I'm thinking of making a four door with it. But uh, anyways, the motor should be good. So we're gonna go spark it up and go take her for a little burn around the field. Why not? <laughs> oh, the battery goes, got it right there? Okay, I'll hold it. The lock isn't actually attached, so. 
That's fine. I'm not sure which way it's got to go in there though. Then we have a pixie. This one goes there, so yep, you got them right. Yep, yeah, perfect. Yep. And that one. So I'm thinking I drained everything out of this sucker, so it's kind of like we'll have to. Uh, we're gonna have to bring it to the house and fill the rad with some water, if we can get out. We might have to use the tractor. I'm thinking she's stuck. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna go get some some schniff there to. Uh, to make sure she starts. Right. Just give me a minute. All right, you are there. Oh, maybe everything goes on there. I can't remember, I thought this had a push button to start. That's your gas pedal. Does the key turn to the point that it cranks? Make sure it's, yeah, okay. Pump it a bunch. Nope, that's the brake. That's a clutch. <laughs> We're gonna have a total lesson in driving today. Can you, uh, the gas is a little weird. Give it some pumps. Big pumps. Big pumps. A couple of those. Okay, try cranking. Okay, pump while you're cranking. Okay. Turn the key off. I'm just gonna get some ether there. I don't wanna kill the battery. I am gonna give her a fire it up. Okay. Can the stick keep it running? No. Oh, okay. Try again. Okay. Alright, there's two times I forgot to turn the recording thing on. Anyways, I we got it running over there, but it wouldn't wouldn't run. So like it wasn't priming fuel. Anyways, we brought it up here, we opened it up, cleaned it out, uh, and then I could tell this plunger was bad. You can see it's kind of mucked up. So, anyways, uh Ryder's over there tearing the one out of his truck. Hopefully it's a little better than this one. I can't get this thing to go back into shape, so I think it's buggered. Anywho, we're going to steal riders, we're going to throw it into here, hopefully it works, and then, uh, whatever, take her for a boot. It's kind of the, was the plan, take a little break and do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to bring this and the parts, yeah, we're good. So we'll go over there and we'll, we'll get that one apart, get to steal the plunger out of that thing and back in business.
We're gonna get you in the field first. working in there, huh? I'll look at it in a second. Once that fan turns, it'll be okay. That's that way. See you go up. You can try. That's all right. Levers up by you. Yeah. Right. You got to be able to push that clutch down. Down, down, down. As far as it. All right. If it doesn't, I think because this is reverse. If you let the clutch out slowly. Whoop! Give it gas. Oh. That's okay. All right. Push clutch in. All right. We gotta do that. That was first gear. That's no big deal. You gotta give it a little bit of gas when you go. Problem is this one has no accelerator pump, so you'll kind of have to feather it a little bit. Yeah. You, you'll 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 get the feel for it. So clutch in. And then to you up will be first gear. More more clutch. There you go. There you go. You give it a little bit of gas. That's okay. That's how sanders work. As long as you hold that clutch in really deep, you can leave it in gear. Nice. No, you can leave it there. It's okay. <laughs> oh, slow down. Slow down. They don't like the rev. You can go. You don't have to give it too much. Second gear, push the clutch in. Always got a clutch, harder, more clutch. Now pull straight back. Now we stop rolling, so this will be a lot harder to get going. You gotta be slower with the clutch out. You kinda wanna do one of these, a little bit of gas, a little bit of clutch. We'll go back to first. Actually, we could probably start in second, because this is granny, granny low. Oh, they started up. Yes. Yeah, doesn't matter, we're neutral now. Watch, if you grab the lever here, this is neutral. Because if it's in gear, not the wiggle's not the same, right? Mm. So we want this. Now it's a neutral, now you're safe to go. Alright. Clutch all the way down. We're gonna go. Don't worry, be careful. We're gonna go second. Slowly let it up, we gotta give it some gas. You'll have to feather the gas. So clutch down. We'll leave it in second gear. No worries. Give it a bit of gas. There you go. It's a little rough, but you'll get it. Okay, feather the gas a little more. It's not happy with life. Tap it a little bit. It's definitely not happy with us. I don't know why. Right. Well, that was good. A little break from everything. Ryder and I ripped around his donor truck. <laughs> My parts truck, his donor truck to fix his truck. Uh, that was a good time. Uh... We did that last night. We did a little bit of just cleaning up. He was working on some stuff, stretching and trying to make a barrel round for the heck of it, using the Porter Ram. And what did he fix? Fixed like a garbage barrel. This thing that got ran over by the excavator. <laughs> it actually looks like a garbage can again. I think he's got plans for it, but anyways, yeah, 
We still have some to do there. I'm trying to contact some cleanup companies yet for the pad just to get that stuff out of the way. But in the meantime, we've actually, uh, we are back in business. As far as I'm concerned, shop's back going. We gotta do, we gotta do a few things yet, but yeah, we are, we are back. I think uh, I'm gonna be taking like the weekend off that's kind of my plan here. Well, a few days anyways. We gotta do a bunch of yard cleanup, things like that. I'm gonna drop that other video for you folks. Uh, will be the next one coming up. Uh, it's gonna be with that plasma table, a CNC plasma table. I just need to take a break from everything and just, yeah, it's like our long weekend. I'm gonna just do our thing for a little while here and uh, We'll be back. We'll figure out some stuff. Right now, this one will probably do some work to it, but I gotta order parts. We gotta get that out of the way. Um, I'm gonna drag in a few things. I gotta get a big, long parts list of stuff going. And then I'll probably get back to fixing some tools and things like that. Um, while Ryder or, uh, I don't know. I think well, Ryder maybe will work on his truck a bit. Austin might work on his car. We'll have a little bit of stuff going on with that. So we're going to be a little bit all over the place for a while, but yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know where we're going. Um, we just both really wanted to thank everyone from the bottom of our hearts for, I mean, everything for watching, for liking, for commenting, for donating to the GoFundMe, which has literally left us speechless. It's awesome. We are so humbled. We are so just completely blown away. And also people who've sent us stuff and the super, like, it goes on it's, and it's, on. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's a lot. It's crazy. This is like a, an awesome community then. It's great. We just want to personally just, show our gratitude. Yeah. Express our gratitude. Yeah. And We're going to show it by making more videos. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. We're sticking around. Yeah. See, we're Not pretty, we're almost back in business here. We've been getting some stuff done, so yeah. Working in here till the new shop's up. Yeah. Anyways, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Bye. Later. Thanks.